Gerke 3 shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals x minus 2 times x minus 4 all over 4 root x. x is greater than 0. The region R, shown shaded, is, we can see on the diagram, is underneath the x-axis. Find the exact area of R, given your answer in the form A root 2 plus B, where A and B are constants to be found. So we're finding the area under the curve. That's going to mean integration. We're going to have to get it ready to integrate, so get it in the right form first. But before we do that, we could say what these two limits are. So these two points where the graph crosses the x-axis, so it crosses x when y equals 0. So you'll have 0 equals x minus 2 times x minus 4 over 4 root x times both sides by 4 root x. So you're just left with x minus 2 and x minus 4. So x is 2, or x is 4. So our limits are going to be 2 and 4. We need to get it ready to integrate. So that means expanding the bracket and dividing through by 4 root x. So let's expand the bracket. So x times x. x times negative 4, x times negative 2. And negative 2 times negative 4. Over 4 root x. So we've got x squared minus 6x plus 8 over 4x to the power of a half. Root x is the same as x to the power of a half. And then just divide everything through by x to the power of a half. So it would be a quarter x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 x to the power of a half plus 2x to the power of minus a half. Now it's ready to integrate, so we're going to integrate between 4 and 2, a quarter x to the power of 3 over 2, minus 3 over 2x to the power of a half, plus 2x to the power of minus a half. So we're going to integrate, that means add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So we're going to have x to the power of 5 over 2, and then we've got a quarter divided by 5 over 2, that's the same as times two fifths. So it would be two twentieths or one tenth. And add one to the power goes to three over two. Three over two divided by three over two is one. Add one to the power will be a half. Two divided by a half is four. So four x to the power of a half. And that's between 4 and 2. So substitute in 4, substitute in 2, and take them away. So we're going to have 1 tenth of 4 to the power of 5 over 2. Minus 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Plus 4, 4s to the power of a half. That should all become a nice whole number then we're going to take away a tenth of 2 to the power of 5 over 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 4 2s to the power of a half so let's grab the calculator and do what we can so we've got a tenth of 4 the power of 5 over 2, take away 4 to the power of 3 over 2, plus 4 times 4 to the power of a half, and that's 16 fifths. So we've got 16 fifths, and then this part might be a bit harder. I might Try doing them one by one because I want a whole number out of the end or a, a third out of the end. So one tenth of two to the power of five over two. 
Nope. So it hasn't given me a um it hasn't given me a, a third that I wanted. Neither does two to the power of five over two. So two to the power two square rooted is root two. So it's root two to the power of five. Root two times root two is two. So I'm going to have two times two times root two. So I've got I've got five root twos times together. So that's a two. So it's two times two times root two. So that's four root twos. So it's a tenth of four root twos, which is four tenths or two fifths root two. And I've got two to the power of three over two. So again, the two is a, is a root two. So it's root two cubed, which is two root twos. And I've got four root twos. So plus four root twos. So what do I have? I've got two root twos and two fifths of a root two. So that's two and two fifths or 12 fifths of a root two. So 16 fifths minus 12 fifths root two.